12, we're asked to select the data range from A10 to F15. We were over on the pie chart on the last step, but when it asks us to go grab some data, we don't have any data here to grab. We have a visual representation of the data. So we're going to come on over to Arrivals, which is where our original data was, and it says A10, which is way down here, the second chart, all the way to F15, so we are going to grab those totals. Select that range and create a cluster column chart. So I'm going to go back to my insert tab at the top. I'm going to come over to charts. And when I pick all charts, I'm going to come over to column. And the default choice is a cluster column. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that first cluster column. I just double click it. And it appears right on top of my data range. And that's the end of step 12. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm not sure. Step 13. Type on time arrival and late time flight arrivals for the chart title. So we double click in the chart title and just highlight it and just type away on time and late flight arrivals. You do not want to copy paste the blue text. The grader, the automatic grader will not recognize that if you do that. And I believe it has not asked us to move this chart yet. So on step 14, it says position the custom color, um, column chart so that the top left-hand corner is in cell A20. So I'm going to kind of expand out a little bit here. And cell A20 is right over here. You don't need to turn this a color. I just want you to see where we're shooting for. And I'm going to take it and just drag it and put it right here in the top of that cell. I'm sure there's another way to move it too. But that's one way to do it. You just drag, you click on the white space of the chart and drag that corner and get it in the top of that cell and save it so it's locked in there. You could still move it at a different time if you needed to. And now it's asking us to position the chart and then change the chart width and height. If you'll double click that chart again, your chart tool um, dialog box will, will pop up, but also will format. So you want to be able to click over here in the size and properties, which kind of looks like a black box with a little white cross on it. You click that and it asks you what size. So you just unpop size. And right now we have a height of three inches and a width of five inches so it wants almost kind of to switch it wants the width of 5.75 so i just highlight it and type 5.75 and it wants a height of 3.5 so again highlight it and just type it once you click enter the chart size will change and you save it to make sure those changes stay in order and that's the end of step 14. <coughs> Step 15, apply the chart filters to remove cancel, diverted, and total operations. So we want to come and get this chart up so we can see it. And then if you look at the third icon, the first icon is for chart elements, so you can add and remove and change chart things like the title and the legend. The next little icon besides the chart when we click on it is chart styles, so color schemes and that sort of thing. And then the third one is a filter. It looks kind of like a funnel. When you click that, it says, what do you want to filter on? So we don't want to filter everything. We um, just want to remove canceled. What were the other two? Diverted. Diverted and total operations. So at this point in time, we're just going to be showing um, categories and then on time arrival and late time arrival. Once we hit apply, we go down to two bars on our graph. Yeah, 
<laughs> Step 16, select the value axis. And the value axis, okay, right here is like your dates. Down here is your legend. Here's your title. But over here on the left where you have 6 million, 5 million, 4 million, 3 million, 2 million, and 1 million, it also looks like a white axis. It is your value axis. So if we double click that, then our format access bar appears. And what it's asking us to do is set the major units for number. If you click on the far icon that looks like a bar graph after you've clicked the legend, it gives you access options, tick marks, labels, and numbers. Right now we want to go down to numbers and expand that box. And we want to pick type, I'm sorry, custom. And we want to go down to number. And then when we do that, that enables us to make some more choices. I'm saying, and I'm making a mistake. Nope. I was headed in the wrong direction. We need to go to access options and under access options, we need to open that pop-up box and under major and minor, we want to come to major units instead of one to the E6 power, we want to change that to 500,000. Five zeros. We also mm -hmm. I am on the value axis. Good guess. But see, I typed 5,500,000, and that's not right. We should just have display units of 500,000. There we go. That looks a little better. Hmm. And then to set the decimal places, we need to go ahead and go down to number. So I'm going to close access option and go down to number. And then down in number, we want to change decimal places to one, which is kind of unusual. And it's, huh, there we go. Make sure you hit enter to apply that over on our access. And that's the end of step 16. Step 17, add a primary vertical axis for title for number of flights. Step 17, add a primary vertical axis title. I go ahead and click millions and then come over to our chart elements. And on chart elements, click access title. And on access title, we want to deselect horizontal because we're just trying to focus on the primary vertical. And then we come over here and highlight and type our new title, which is number of flights. Do notice that number and flight are capitalized, but not the word of. And I'm going to say it. It's time to save. Step 18, apply the two color, color two chart color to the chart. So click the whole chart in the white space. And then your chart tools and design and format appear up. But the change colors it's talking about this time are here on chart styles to the left. It looks like a little color palette chart. Click the pull down menu and it's asking you to go to color chart two, which I believe is just the second row of colors. You're going to have that gray and blue Dallas Cowboy colors right there. And you're going to save for step eight because you made a pretty big change. You made color change. And then step nine, apply the light gradient accent three field to the chart area. 
Now the chart area is out here in the white space. The plot area is when you click inside here where the lines are and you can actually click each one of those individual lines too. You see how those dots come up? So click out here in the white space of the chart. And then we want to come over to the fill bucket and we want to pick a gradient fill and we want to pick accent three accent one accent two accent three it doesn't yeah, it does say light gradient so you end up with kind of a gray bluey color when you pick light gray accent three click that to apply and scroll on down to step 20 close the workbook submit to my IT lab for grading great work you can um, to the chart area back here in the back not just to the plot area all right